Explosions. They are forces of incredible power, capable of reshaping landscapes and altering the course of history. From the moment the first humans harnessed the power of fire, we have been both fascinated and terrified by the potential of explosions. But what exactly is an explosion? In its simplest form, an explosion is just a rapid expansion of volume. This expansion releases a tremendous amount of energy in the form of heat, light, and sound, often accompanied by a shockwave that can be devastating. While we often associate explosions with destruction, they are also essential to many aspects of our lives. From the controlled detonations used in mining and construction to the fireworks that light up our celebrations, explosives have played a pivotal role in shaping the world we live in. Understanding the nature of explosions, their history, and their diverse applications allows us to appreciate both their power and their potential. The story of explosives begins with a serendipitous discovery in ancient China. Sometime during the 9th century, alchemists, in their quest for the elixir of immortality, stumbled upon a volatile mixture of sulfur, charcoal, and potassium nitrate, which we now know as black powder. This discovery, far from granting eternal life, unleashed a new era of explosive power. Initially, black powder found use in fireworks, dazzling onlookers with its bright flashes and loud bangs. But it wasn't long before its military potential became apparent. By the 13th century, black powder weapons, from simple fire lances to powerful cannons, were reshaping battlefields across Asia and Europe. The invention of gunpowder marked a turning point in human history, forever altering the nature of warfare and the balance of power between civilizations. For centuries, black powder reigned supreme as the only known explosive. But the 19th century ushered in a new era of chemical innovation, leading to the development of what we now call high explosives. Unlike black powder, which deflagrates, burns rapidly but subsonically, high explosives detonate, producing a supersonic shockwave that travels faster than the speed of sound. This difference in behavior results in a far more powerful and destructive explosion. Nitroglycerin, discovered in 1846 by Italian chemist Escanio Sobrero, was one of the first high explosives to be synthesized. Though incredibly powerful, nitroglycerin was also notoriously unstable, making it too dangerous for practical use. It was Alfred Nobel, a Swedish chemist and engineer, who found a way to tame nitroglycerin's volatility. In 1867, Nobel patented dynamite a mixture of nitroglycerin and diatomaceous earth, which stabilized the explosive, making it safer to handle and transport. Dynamite revolutionized mining and construction, allowing for the excavation of tunnels, canals, and mine shafts with unprecedented speed and efficiency. The 20th century witnessed a paradigm shift in the realm of explosives with the dawn of the nuclear age. Unlike chemical explosives, which derive their power from the rearrangement of atoms within molecules, nuclear explosives tap into the immense energy stored within the nucleus of an atom. This energy, predicted by Albert Einstein's famous equation E equals mix squared, is released through either nuclear fission, the splitting of a heavy atom like uranium or plutonium, or nuclear fusion, the merging of light atoms like hydrogen isotopes. The first atomic bombs, developed during World War II, unleashed unimaginable destructive power, forever changing the geopolitical landscape. The subsequent development of thermonuclear weapons, or hydrogen bombs, further amplified the destructive potential of nuclear technology. Section 5. Explosives at Work, From Construction to Space Exploration While the destructive power of explosives is undeniable, their applications extend far beyond warfare. In fact, the vast majority of explosives produced today are used for peaceful purposes. In the construction industry, explosives are essential for demolition, road building, and excavating foundations. Controlled detonations allow engineers to precisely break up rock and concrete, making way for new structures. The mining industry relies heavily on explosives to extract valuable minerals and ores from the earth. Explosives are also used in the oil and gas industry for seismic exploration and well stimulation. Even space exploration relies on the controlled power of explosives. Rocket engines, for example, use the rapid expansion of hot gases produced by the combustion of propellants, a controlled explosion, to generate thrust. Section 6. The Two Sides of Power, The Duality of Explosives 
The history of explosives is a testament to the duality of human nature. We are capable of both incredible ingenuity and devastating destruction. On one hand, explosives have enabled us to achieve remarkable feats of engineering, from carving tunnels through mountains to launching spacecraft into orbit. They have revolutionized industries, fueled economic growth, and improved the lives of billions. On the other hand, the development of increasingly powerful explosives has also led to unprecedented levels of destruction and loss of life. The horrors of Hiroshima and Nagasaki serve as stark reminders of the devastating consequences of unchecked technological advancement. Section 7, The Future of Explosions, Controlled Energy and Beyond. As we look to the future, the field of explosives research continues to evolve, driven by the need for safer, more efficient, and more environmentally friendly solutions. Scientists are exploring new types of explosives with reduced environmental impact, such as those based on nitrogen-rich compounds that produce fewer harmful byproducts. Research into controlled energy release is also leading to the development of advanced propulsion systems for space exploration and hypersonic flight. The challenge for future generations will be to harness the power of explosives responsibly, ensuring that their benefits are maximized while minimizing their potential for harm. Section 8. A Universe Forged in Explosions – Our Explosive Origins It is a profound irony that the very elements that make up our bodies, the air we breathe, and the planet we call home were forged in the fiery hearts of stars billions of years ago. These stellar furnaces, powered by nuclear fusion, created the heavy elements necessary for life as we know it. When these stars reached the end of their lives, they exploded as supernovae, scattering these elements across the cosmos. These cosmic explosions seeded the universe with the building blocks of planets, stars, and ultimately, life itself. In a very real sense, we are all children of explosions, our existence inextricably linked to these powerful events that have shaped the universe we inhabit. 